What's up, y'all? Jared Sandler here with your Rangers recap. The Rangers take the rubber game of the three-game series, two to one. They beat the Blue Jays and they move to 500 on the season. The Rangers are three and three through six games. It was a really great job by Kyle Gibson in his second start of the season, bouncing back after losing the opener of the year and just putting forth a dreadful effort, probably the worst of his career, but he was really good today. And the things that stood out, he went very sinker, slider, heavy early, came back as the start progressed. He worked in more of the curveball, got actually a big double play in the middle of his start with a curveball. Also saw the cutter that he was working on. So he was using all of his pitches. It seemed to me, like I said, a little more sinker slider early working in the curveball and the cutter as the start progressed. Uh, the Rangers didn't get a whole lot offensively. Leone Tavares had a broken bat, uh, RBI base hit, Nick Solak a home run. That was all they needed because Gibson in the bullpen did a really nice job. Matt Bush gave up a home run. He's actually given up a home run now in each of his three outings. Thankfully, Josh Spores before him, Ian Kennedy after him. Uh, we're able to put up zeros and the Rangers were able to get the win. And how about Ian Kennedy? Uh, he looks pretty good uh, for a closer that the Rangers acquired, uh, I think, after pitchers and catchers reported, right? So uh, he looked really good. It was nice to see. It's it's always good to see a team be able to win a low-scoring game. Uh, the Rangers were able to do that today. Uh, and they faced a really good pitcher. Hyunjin Ryu has been one of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball uh, over the last few years. He's one of just, I think, three or four pitchers to have three straight seasons with an ERA below three. Uh, so even though he might not be the, the household name that Cole, Verlander, DeGrom are, uh, he has been just as good as those guys. Uh, one thing that stands out to me, the defensive positioning. You know, it used to be, hey, we got a lefty, let's put three guys on the right side, we'll kind of figure out where to put him. But it's become so scientific uh, these days. And, and the people in charge of positioning these guys uh, team to team have become so good at their jobs. And when I mentioned that double play, the Rangers got off the curveball uh, earlier in the game. The Rangers got that double play because of being positioned perfectly. And we just see it time and time again. Defense has become so advanced. Uh, and it's been a, you know, I, I think for some people, maybe that's frustrating, but, you know, I think for me, it's, it's impressive, the art of, of all of that. Uh, and then one thing, just a little note, Eli White grounded out earlier in the game today. He had a sprint speed of 30 and a half feet per second. That would have been the second fastest sprint speed in all of 2020 uh, behind Tim LaCastro's 30.7. So pretty impressive speed from Eli White. All right, there you go. That's our Rangers recap. Rangers open the Blue Jays 2-1. to one. They're off tomorrow. Padres come to town on Friday at Globe Life Field. Talk to you all later.